guys, so I'm filming a haul for you. Sorry about the lighting, it is really late at night, so I'm trying to use this mirror. Um, but this is a haul from Coastal Scents. I ordered some Hot Pot eyeshadows, and they were on sale last Friday. They were on sale for a dollar. I'm not sure if they're still on sale by the time I have this video up, because I believe this video is going up on Thursday. So, sorry if they're not, but they're really good price anyway without the sale. They're $1.95 without the sale, so that's really good. Today, I swatched them and did all of that. T took pictures for my blog post, which will also be up on Thursday. I'll have it linked down below, as well as Coastal Sense website will be linked down below. If you don't know what Coastal Sense is, it's just a um, website kind of like BH Cosmetics, which just sells a bunch of palettes, of um, different eyeshadow palettes and brushes and all of that good stuff. It's got good beginner brush set um, on there, brush sets on there. It's where I got my very first set from. Um, but, like I said, I ordered some Hot Pot Single Eyeshadows. They are just like a pan of eyeshadow. They're the exact same size as MAC eyeshadows. So, if you have empty MAC palettes or, you know, whatever, you can put these in there. You can also put these in Z palettes, but they're not magnetized. Um, I don't think they're magnetized. No, I th they, they might be. I don't remember. Something I read said that it wasn't, but I think that was something else. So you can put these in Z palettes or whatever. I ordered nine of them, and I ordered them on Friday. Today, I'm filming this on a Monday, so the shipping was only about like two days, which is really good. Well, three days, I guess, because there was a Sunday in between, which was really good. It was actually pretty fast. And then they also included, which I think this is really cute. I'm going to actually use it as a bookmark, but, you know. And I Love Makeup bumper sticker. I think that's so cute. Um, as I'm using it as a bookmark, obviously. I'm not ever going to put that on my car. Um, and then they have their business card. But like I said, I'll have their link down below as well as my blog post. That's where I'm going to be showing you swatches and more in-depth of the color. And I believe a few of these that I got are supposed to be MAC dupes. And if they are, I will say on my blog which ones are the MAC dupes. Um, because MAC eyeshadows are $11. And it does state on the website that these are the exact same size as the MAC eyeshadow pans. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Also, they sent me this sample, which I really like all of these colors, and I want to get all four in the full size, so let's start with that. She's, there she, the company, they just sent the sample pack in True Love. I'm going to get four different shades. Let me try and do the lighting. I think these are all satin, no. This one here is a satin for sure, but the other three are just regular finishes they're not but I really like them this one's my favorite the steel gray one camel taupe this one's very gray and appears wishy-washy um, the only one I really wouldn't purchase is wishy-washy because it's not very pigmented but you'll see I have a picture of it on my blog um, last time gonna say that let's go ahead and get into the colors um, I really like how they're packaged because they do sell uh, palettes for these. They have one that holds like 12 eyeshadows for I think $6 and I was going to get that originally and then I was like no I'll just see how it comes packaged and I actually really like how they come packaged like in this little plastic container type of thing. The first one I'm going to show you this is oh this is actually the only one that wasn't super pigmented but out of all of them this is the one that was not very pigmented um, and it had a lot of fallout. So this out of nine, this is the only one that was kind of weird. Um, this one is Coastal Scent Hot Pot in Peachy Copper. And it's a really pretty peachy color. It's just very sheer. Um, and I got one that was pretty similar to it. And I didn't really realize. And it's better. But this one is the only one that I wouldn't recommend getting. Um, but I'll tell you why more on my blog. Okay, last time I'm going to mention the blog. Okay. The next one I got was, okay, let's see. This one is Golden Sunset. Really pretty golden sunset. It's more of like the orangey gold. It's really pretty, and they're so smooth, and very soft, very easy to blend. I can't wait to, like, try these out tomorrow. I'm going to be wearing them tomorrow. I really like this eye. Oh, this lighting is really good. Earlier when I filmed this, the lighting was not showing. It made my eyes look weird. But I'm going to be filming a tutorial on this eye look as well. But that was that. Was that. Moving on. 
um, I'm all up in your face because I want you guys to see. This one is called, I'm not editing that out. Okay, 18 karat gold. It's a really pretty yellow gold. It's so pretty, guys. I, I don't know. I've been doing that all time. I have my pinky out. It's just so pretty. I'm trying to show you the best I can. It's very pretty and very opaque. They're all opaque, guys. They're all smooth. They're all amazing. I can't wait to wear them, especially some of these colors I got. I'm so excited about. Okay, this one like these ones. Raisinberry is this one. I'm going to have all the names listed down below as well, um, just in case you might not have understood what I said. Or whatever. And they'll be in order as well. This one is called Raisinberry. I love this one. It literally is so beautiful. It's a beautiful plum with like a lilac. It has like hints of lilac in there. It's so like hard to describe, but it's so beautiful. And I said I wasn't going to swatch, but... Guys, oh my, oh my gosh. This is the only one I'm swatching. It's just a really beautiful burgundy, and it's not coming out great on camera. I ain't even editing that out either. It's so, they're just beautiful. It's so opaque. It's beautiful. I really like it. It's the hard one to get off. So that one was called Raisinberry. The next one is Wineberry, which I love this one too. Sorry I'm in your face. I just want to show you these better. I love this one. It's like a, it is, it's like a bright wine color. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I really like it. And all the ones that I got are a satin finish. Um, I didn't even realize, but those are the ones that I really liked. So that's Wineberry. Really like it. It's just it's really bright, and it's a really great color to blend out some of the burgundy shades that I got. So that's why I picked that one. And then this one, this one is beautiful too. I'm dropping everything. This one is called Raspberry Tart, and oh my gosh, this one is beautiful. This one is okay. Yeah. This one has more of the lilac tone to it. There, you can see it. Okay. I had these two mixed up. And it's, sorry, I was listening to my mom's music, if you can hear that. Sorry. It's so beautiful, guys. There's like a lilac to it, and it's just so pretty. I was getting this one mixed up with, um, whatever this one's called. Raisinberry. See, like, let's see, let's show the difference here. Like this is raisinberry, it's just a lot darker. And then this one's more like on the lilac side, and this one's more burgundy. Beautiful. Sorry, I keep dropping things. Okay, this one is called Amber Bronze, and it's really pretty too. It's a really pretty dark brown, but there's a bronze to it, and it's just so pretty. I love it. It's like a copper bronze. It's so pretty. I was so surprised at how great the quality of these were. I was so surprised because I thought, oh, these will probably be hit or miss. Um, no, they are all hits but the one, which is peachy copper. And this one here, this one is called bright copper. It doesn't have the name on the back. This one says HPME03. And then the sunset gold one that I have has another weird, like, letter thing on there but this one is called bright copper and they said somebody reviewed it on there and um, said that this was I believe do not quote me because I will have the correct information for this on my blog but I believe they said that this one was a dupe for max expensive pink which I've been wanting to get expensive pink forever and it kind of looks similar to expensive pink I've never owned it so I don't know if it really is um, but I'll look it up and find out if it is, and it'll be on my blog. And then this one is the last one, Aluminum Taupe. I love this one, guys. This one is literally, like, a top favorite. And then you're going to look at the color, and you're going to be like, this is stupid. It's just a really pretty taupe shade, champagne -y taupe. It looks kind of silvery, but it's more taupe. And it's just so pretty. I'm going to swatch it for you, too. It's just that really pretty satin finish, and I just really like it. 
it's just, it's a nice like inner corner highlight type of deal. I'm just really big on that. You can't really see it there. I'm just really big on that type of color. So it, that's why I love it so much. But that's my haul. I haven't done one in forever. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry that it was pretty long. I only had like a couple of things, but a couple of things. I had nine. Um, but definitely go check out the blogs for swatches. I did um, pictures of them outside so you can see the lighting better. Although the lighting happened to be um, overcast outside, which sucked because, ugh, I don't know, it was not my day. It was bright when I filmed the haul this morning. And then I went outside to go take pictures literally five minutes after and it was overcast. So I don't know what happened. Also, since you probably saw a bunch of my nail doings here, I have a tutorial up. This will be up. Yeah, this is, it should already be up. So if you're interested in seeing how to get these snake skin print nails, then I'll have the link for that video down below as well. And if you haven't seen my witch collab video with my life is ashley 16 i'll have it linked down below below as well um and i'll talk to you guys later bye